Hello everyone, welcome to Pratiba Tech. In this video, we will solve the problem of the day question on Geeks for Geeks for 15th April 2023. The problem statement for today is find total time taken. This problem is based on Irish data structure and hashing. Let's now open this problem to solve it. Let's go through and understand the given problem statement. The problem statement says you are given an array of size n containing the values in between 1 to n. You are asked to determine the total time taken in order to pick all the array elements from left to right. But there is a condition. You are also given an another array time again of size n. Time of element okay um, of size n uh, time array of element okay and where the element ranges from 1 to n. That means 1 less than or equal to element less than or equal to n. This time array represents the time after which you can pick again the element. Okay. For clarity, while moving from left to right, if you have once picked element, then you can pick it again after only after time of element second. Okay. So here the, uh, the, simple, the problem statement simply says that the array which will be given, we will be given an array and uh, that will contain some elements and we will be again given, given a time array. And we have to pick all the elements from this given array. Uh, but one condition is there. If there are um, any element which is already picked, then we have to wait for uh, the corresponding values from the time array that many seconds. Okay. So this, this is the only condition. So we have to find the total time um, in which all the elements can be picked up. In note, it is given that it takes one second to move from index i to i plus one. Okay. There is no extra time needed to pick the element. The, and uh, the, the, um, given the, here it is, it is one based indexing. So only uh, when we move from one element to, ele ele to another element, only we have to consider that time. The time for picking up element that is all, uh, that is negligible. That's why that is not uh, considered. So let's understand it in a better way with a given example. So the first example says the array size is 4, the array contained element 1, 2, 3 and 3 and the time array contained 1, 2, 3 and 4. So uh, the, here the output is 5. How it is 5? Let's understand that. You start from index 1 and pick array of 1. Array of 1 is here 1 because it is 1 based indexing. So here it will be picked in no time because for picking element um, it does not require any extra time. So here at time is equal to 0 only. Uh, we can pick array of 1 that is 1. Now in next 1 second, in 1 second we move from index 1 to 2 and we pick array of 2 that is 2. So total time here it will be 1. So that time is when we move from 1 to 2. In next 1 second we move from index 2 to 3 and pick array of 3 that is 3. So the total time it will be 2. 1 plus 1 in the previous step this and 1 in the this step. So it will be 2. In next 1 second we move from index 3 to 4 and here array of 4 is 3 array of 4 is 3 but here we can see that this 3 was already picked in the last step okay so here it is saying that which you have already taken at time is equal to 2 so when time was 2 we have already picked 3 there so what we have to do so we, so here that condition applies whatever it was said in the problem statement that we need to wait for time of array of i seconds to pick it again pick it again that is array of i so whatever was the value of uh, whatever, the, whatever was the corresponding value in the time array for the that index position when it was encountered in the previous step so we have to wait for that second so when we look at this one the for this index position what is the value corresponding value in time array so it is 3 so we have to wait for 3 seconds so among those three seconds, one second is already done when we move from uh, index position three to four. When we move, move from this three to this three, one second is there. One second is already taken. So we have to wait for two extra second. So initially uh, the time was two. Then we move from this to this. It, so time become three. Then we have to wait for two extra seconds. So the total time will be five. Three plus two that is five. So that only is said in here as well. Since the time of three is three, Hence, in one second, you moved from index 3 to 4 and you waited for 2 seconds and finally picked up array of 4. So, total time is 5. 
So this was the first example. In the second example, again it is said that array size is 4 and array contained element 1, 2, 3, 4 and time array also contained 1, 2, 3, 4. So here the output is 3. All the elements are different. Hence, you do not have to wait for any array of i before picking up, before picking it. Hence, the total time taken will be 3, which is the time required to traverse the array. Since all the elements are, are different, we are not we will not use this time array at all for uh, waiting for an element to be picked up. So it will th it will take three seconds. That means moving from one to two, two to three, and three to four. That's it. And as and when we move to a particular element, we can pick it up in no seconds. So that's why the output is three. So I hope this um, problem statement and this um, example that would be clear. Okay, so for solving this problem, the logic which we will use is to simulate the process of picking elements from array, array that is given as uh, this one ARR from left to right and keep track of the time when each element is picked using a map. If an element is picked again, we use map to determine the time when it was last picked and add the required time to pick it again. Okay, the method returns the total time, uh, total time taken to pick all the elements. So what we'll do, um, uh, so we will be using a map here. So we will keep track of the element uh, of the time when it was picked last. And if that element is encountered again, so we have to see um, when it was picked last plus we will add the waiting time, waiting time to be next picked up from the times array. And we'll see which one is maximum, either this value, whatever we just uh, calculated in this one, that means previous picked up plus, uh, plus the waiting time, this is maximum or the current time, whenever that uh, value is getting picked up, that is uh, maximum. So whichever is the maximum value, we will, um, we will take that into consideration. And finally, we will return the total time taken to pick all the elements. Okay. So with this approach only, we'll try the coding We'll try coding the solution of it. So just to save time in typing, I have already prepared it. Let me just copy it here. I'll explain it line by line. So here also I've given uh, comments against each statement so that it becomes very easy to understand. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so here, what we'll do, um, here we are having this total time, this method, which takes three parameters, that is n, which represents the size of the input array integer uh, array that is ARR containing the values in the range of 1 to n and other, another integer array time representing representing the time required to pick each element again. Okay, so what we are doing here first we are um, here this for the solu for solution for this one. This method is using map of integer integer to store the last pick time of each element. The key of the map is an element from the input array and the value represents the time when the element was last picked. So this uh, map is used for that purpose. Then we initialize the total time to zero and then we iterate over the array using a for loop. Okay. Then for each element array of i, this method will check if last pick times map already contains a key for that element. If not, it adds the element to the map with the value equal, equal to the current total time. If the map already contains the key for the element, then the method calculates the maximum time of the current total time and the last time of the element plus the time required to pick it again. Okay. So if it is not containing, then we will, we'll add that element into the, this map with the total time, whatever we have count, we are, we are getting here after counting um, this uh, incrementing operation after each traversal. Okay. But if this element is already present in the map, then we have to find, we have to calculate uh, this, this one last time when it was picked plus the waiting time. This is one value and another value is the total time, which we are traversing now, whichever is the maximum value that we will uh, keep it as the total time here and that only will be inserted again for this uh, array of i. Okay, so here we are updating the value of the element in the map to the new maximum value. Finally, the method increments the total time value 
by each uh, sorry we will increment the total time variable by 1 for each iteration of the loop and returns the final value of total time minus 1 the subtraction here is necessary because the final increment of the total time happens after the last element is picked but we do not need to wait for additional time for the next pick since there is no next pick after the last element okay so um here it was incremented to um, plus plus but since we do not have any extra element to be picked again so no need of utilizing that time in just traversing to the next position because no element is there that's why we are doing it time minus uh, this what are the value is there minus 1 okay so and the finally we will return that value i hope this solution is clear so let's try compiling this code So here we can see we have got correct output. Now I am trying submitting the solution. So here we can see uh, uh, all the test cases has been covered. So this problem has been solved successfully. So I hope this uh, explanation is pretty clear that what all things is happening here. We are iterating over the array, and we are just checking if the map contains that element or not. if it doesn't contain then we insert into the map uh, with the time as the what was the current value but if it is already taken then we are selecting the maximum among two values first value is the total time whatever we are uh, getting in iteration uh, that means by incrementing the total time by 1 in each step this is maximum or last picked time plus the time from this uh, the waiting time from this time array when we add both of both of them so among this which of which were is the maximum so that is the total time here okay and then we update the array of i uh, in that map and uh, whatever is the total whatever is the latest value of total time here so that we return here okay so this was a java solution if it so let me um, okay so before moving to c++ solution so if we talk about the time complexity of this uh, solution it is in the order of big o of n where n is the size of the input array here in this method we are using a map of integer integer to keep track of the last pick time for each element the put and the get operations of the map have the average time complexity of big o of n assuming that the hash and the hash map used by the map distributes the key evenly the for loop iterates over the array once performing the constant time operation inside the loop therefore the time complexity is big o of n okay so this was a java solution of it now let's move to c++ editor even i prepared a solution in c++ language as well so here also the logic is completely same same thing whatever we did in java solution only the syntactical difference between java and c++ that is there here also we are creating a map we are traversing the array and we are comparing that uh, whenever it was last pick whether the map contains that element or not if that is uh, it, it doesn't contain this find element then we update um, the value in the total of that last pick time of array of i with the total time whatever is the current value if it is already uh, present then we check the maximum between those two values and we update the uh, this map here and at last we return the value of total time minus 1 again the minus 1 is again uh, just because uh, we do not need to traverse to the next uh, step because there is no extra element so that's why that minus 1 is needed okay so let me try compiling this c++ solution so even for c++ solution we have got correct uh, output i'm submitting this c++ solution so even this c++ solution is is perfectly fine it even for this also all the test cases has been passed so this problem has been solved successfully using both java and c++ okay so i'll provide the link for this question in the description box and along with the code co the link for the code in the description box please do check them that's all in this video please like comment and share the video and please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos thank you for watching